it sit right over the water. Handmade. This side, Dad. Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Christian L here with Eat Like an Apex. This afternoon, we're here in Tracy, California and I'm checking out a place called the Punjabi Grill Restaurant Suite and Catering. Punjabi Grill Restaurant is located here in Tracy and is stationed in a plaza that's in kind of near the back end of MacArthur Boulevard. And it's a plaza that hasn't been used quite often, but still, there's still things around here. There's restaurants here, there's clothing apartments, there's martial arts studios still operating and there's still places for you to get some good food. And that's what I'm gonna do today. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, hope you find time to subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. That said, I'm gonna show you everything in this video right now. What's up guys? Hey, I just made it here to the Punjabi Grill restaurant and, and this is owner Dalavir Basi. Uh, owner Dalavir. And yes. he's uh, him and his brother Dasbir. Dasbir are the owners of this uh, this restaurant here. Mm. We have Punjabi Grill restaurant.com. We also would do the delivery to the DoorDash. And the catering. Yeah. Catering, catering DoorDash. Do the catering for oh. homes. Okay. Yeah. So. We do, we go to their houses and do the catering if oh. they have a charged person or fundraising yeah. event. So we do all the catering for them. Oh. Capacity for up to 500 people. Capacity for oh, reception, yeah. wedding reception, any Entire Man. thing, huh? Entire thing. Yeah, there's a, a lot of things. This place is really big. This is the uh, Tracy Outlets, an Indian restaurant that's that's out here and still going. Excited to try the food today. You just told me 10 minutes ago. Uh -huh. Two kitchens. One for veggie, one for non veggie. Yes, sir, yeah, it's all veggie. Okay, non veggie on this side. No, uh, no. That's the His brother, these are the owners here. We met him outside there, and this is his brother. Jasmir. Jasmir, okay. Checking out the kitchen here with the whole setup. This is probably one of the largest kitchens I've ever seen. Homemade. Okay, so that one we make it. So they can eat right away. Right away. Right away. We mix it together right with the water. And then that's how we make it by hand. Uh, my uh, owner's uh, wife. Owner's that's wife. That's my another partner. Okay, so there's a, a whole team out here. A whole yes. team. Yeah, whole team. Providing yes. for the the community here in Tracy. Is it butter chicken? Is it goat curry? That's tandoori chicken. Also, we have the dal, which is like a bean steak. Yeah, this is sweet. We call it gajarela. And this is mixed veggie. We got a cabbage in there. So potatoes. So you just put a barely touch it, it's Punjabi Hulk. So we got the food here, and um, what I picked up here, I got some of the garlic chicken, and I got some tandoori chicken, uh, fried vegetable pancora, butter chicken, also some goat curry as well. So I got the chicken curry and the goat curry, and I sprinkled some of that roti sauce over here. So it looks, oh, it looks amazing. Everything looks delicious here. You gotta take some of that bread and just, just dip it into, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and go for that uh, butter chicken first. Some of that butter chicken. Oh, that chicken is extremely tender. Just strands and strands of the chicken just kind of piece up and fall off. But they add it with that sauce, that butter sauce. Oh man, it's like a sweet, savory flavors chicken base. Oh yeah, I forget what this is called. Kind of a sour base sauce with the jalapeno and the purple onions here. Kind of added that for extra texture. I'm going to chase that bite with the with the onion right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that onion has a little bit of a kind of natural sweetness to it. I'm gonna get some of that goat curry, get some of that sauce, and um. Add a piece of goat to this bite here. Oh, check that out. Mmm, I got a bone. Oh, oh, yeah. A little bit chewy, but a good chew because it's that gamey factor from the goat. And that goat flavor just, again, sticks out. Yeah, and it's one of those things where if you had it as many times as I've had, you're gonna wanna keep coming back for more of that because it's just delicious. I'm gonna taste that with the jalapeno now. All right. 
Ooh, that's got some heat to it. Oh yeah, it's almost uh, serrano pepper like. Achari in Punjabi. Okay, so achari, achari. <laughs> um, I found out the name of this um, here, this this sour sauce here. It's called achari, and you want to just have a little bit of that because it's really really has a nice enhanced uh, sourness to it. This is a uh, spicy yeah, this pepper. The pepper. Yeah, this serrano pepper chili. Yes. Yeah, very delicious. Thank you. Poured me some some water. I don't think I've touched the chicken curry yet. So let me get that chicken curry. Dip it in there, and here's the chicken curry with a roti. Oh, I'm gonna get some of that sour pickled stuff with a piece of roti. They say just take a little bit, but I'm gonna go and grab a nice chunk of that. I might as well add a add an onion in it too, or I'll, I'll chase it with the onion. And I'm gonna dip this into the the butter chicken with that yogurt. Here we go. Oh, immediately chase that with the onion. Yeah, exceptionally delicious, yeah. Oh, that's so good. It's nice and sour. It has a hint of spice to it, but really that sourness really sticks out. Yeah, you wanna have that with the roti. I wouldn't have it directly by itself, although you can, but you wanna have it as a complimentary sauce for something. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. some of my butter chicken. This next thing I have here, it's a fried vegetable pancori, and I think this is a, maybe squash. I'm a big fan of these pancoras. Not only are they nice and fried and crispy, the flavor of these pancoras are just so delicious. Yeah, that's almost like a cauliflower and a potato and some other green herbs. You can taste that potato and a slight hint of cauliflower. I'm not sure if it's kind of mixed up vegetables in there, but oh yeah. The other thing is if you kind of run out of the uh, the naan or the roti, it's always good to go ahead and take this and just dip your pancora into the sauce because it acts as another substitute. So, oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna chase that with a jalapeno or a serrano pepper. Oh man, so good. Really delicious. You could pace yourself because this is this is a, a buffet, uh, or you, or you can kind of go all out and, and and try try every item they have here. They have the the vegetable side and they have the non vegetable uh, kind of distinguished not just here in the in the in the buffet but also in the kitchen too. I'm gonna go ahead and try some of the tandoori chicken now. And the tandoori chicken is a a, a really popular grilled barbecued chicken. And yeah, the, you can distinguish tandoori chicken by its reddish color. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a bite of that chicken here. Oh, that's so tender. A tender tandoori chicken. Has a lot of flavor to it too. Aside from any other barbecue chicken that you have, the tandoori chicken has a unique flavor to it. You, you definitely get a hint of those spices that they put into the chicken. I went and got some, some onions, especially with this plate of delicious flavors, different spices here. You want to have it some a neutral base, which is those onions plays as a, as a neutral neutral balance. I had some of the, the lime here that I kind of sprinkled onto the, the plate here. I'm not sure if the, we sh or you've seen it earlier, but they brought me out the garlic naan. This is the garlic naan here. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this next bite with some garlic naan, a piece of the naan here. I'm gonna take that garlic naan. I'm gonna have some of that butter chicken and then chase it, chase it with the onion. It may look like a lot of sauce, but the ratio of it, it's like equivalent or, or equal to the sauce, the chicken and the sauce. And here we go. Oh yeah, immediately, as I said before, you're meant to have the naan from the kitchen, from the pan, from the oven, and have it right away because it's nice and warm, very crispy, and you can't compete with that. You can't compete with something that's just made. And that garlic, you, you wanna have it with garlic naan. Taste that with the onion. Oh, tremendous, more roti. Scoop that up. I'm gonna eat this with the chili. A piece of chili right there in the middle. Onion on top of it too. You can see that. I need to chase that with some chicken. Tandoori chicken. Oh no. Superb. Indian food has a nice impactful spice level. You don't have to have it with a serrano pepper. But to me, it's more balanced than anything else. It's kind of like, it, it, it kind of needs it. You want to kind of have it, a hint of spiciness. But the food is so savory. The food is so delicious. The sauce is on this plate here. Something you just want to scoop up with your with your roti. Scoop that up and just go. Mm. The only way to do it, eat with your hands. Yeah, I'm sweating here from the pepper. Uh -huh. And it's so good. And that completes it. Oh yeah, 
some pride right here. Punjabi Grill restaurant right here. The food was excellent. Just want to thank the team here. I want to thank the owners uh, again for just a wonderful tour of the restaurant, tour of the, the food. Uh, pretty interesting to see how the, the kitchen is developed. They have a veggie section and a non-veggie section inside, so it's easily distinguishable which, uh, who cooks what. Oh yeah, yeah. One of my favorite foods in the entire world, Indian food. So with that said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you do like it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate that. Peace out. One love late. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing. Later.